Hey, Empresses, welcome in to August 10th. We are one day away from the um, sort of energy um, slide back. <laughs> I think uh, Lionsgate does stick around longer, but August 11th is like the official close of the very wide open portal. And uh, hopefully, um, if you got a chance to watch the live that Indy and I did on August 8th, um, the whole beginning of that video is about how to raise your vibration. So I just want to recommend that to you if you haven't had a chance to see it. Um, I give about five or six um, suggestions about, you know, kind of everyday things, right? Things that, to do every day to keep your vibration high. And then I give five or six like triage, 911 kind of things where in the middle of the night you're sort of like monkey minding around and uh, right, and you don't know what to do. So there's two sides to that list. The first is, um, you know, these are like everyday kind of things that keep you in good shape vibrationally. And then, you know, when you have like a attack, um, what you can do. So I hardly recommend that video to you. Um, please do that. The um, calendar for uh, private readings is going to be opening the week of the 20th. And next week, the um, official signups can begin for the tarot classes. So uh, like I say, I'll be putting out a special video about how to sign up for the tarot classes. So you can do that if you like. I really would love to have you gonna be a lot of people I've gotten tons of email and so it's gonna be like a 30 minute teaching 30 minute Q&A kind of a thing and I'll let the Q&A roll on a bit sometimes it seems relevant um, and certainly I uh, want to make sure everybody gets their questions answered but I am going to ask of you in the beginners class the intermediate class the advanced class and especially the intuition class the intuitive class that it is a partnership between you and I so you're going to need to come with your A-game. You're going to need to come with questions that have plagued you. And one of the things I always say, you know, when we're doing a tarot class is um, the brain looks for content, not context. And that is the philosophy you need to um, understand a little bit about tarot is it's all about context. It's going on the bigger reading going on right so that's how, that's what will direct you like well what does this mean what does this card mean whatever it's context that's going to give you that so just helpful hints as we get into the class <laughs> so anyway guys so let's uh let's talk about here and now we are in getting into mid-august the Lionsgate period is um dying down what have you learned what have you learned about yourself? What have you learned about the journey? What have you, what downloads have you gotten? I've seen a couple people on Facebook, on the Facebook group, the Empress group, uh, putting up, you know, oh my gosh, I just realized my journey is about this or my journey is about that. Or now I understand what my work is. Now I understand what I'm supposed to be doing here, why this is happening. Why am I drawn to this? Me too. I've had a lot of interesting downloads. So let's talk about the divine journey today and see where we are, see what's going on here. All right, fool. <laughs> Brand new. I like it. Brand new journey. Oh, that's really good for the end of Lionsgate. That says to me that you've like leveled up. You've leveled up. It's work, right? It's work. Ten of Wands. It's work. It's work. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're going to have <laughs> some stuff going on here. Yes, things are moving forward. Oh, I like that, I like that. Oh, look at that, amazing. So, um, beautiful empresses, here you are, first of all, card shows up. Whenever, uh, whenever a card shows up, like if I'm doing the Virgo reading and the Hermit card shows up, that's Virgo, uh, it means you're on the right track. That's my, when you're doing tarot, you have like a kind of a, a deal with the universe. You're sort of like, okay, if Ten of Cups and Empress shows up, it's about Twin Flame, right? 
uh, I always say that when I'm doing private readings with people. If the card shows up that's you, right, Sagittarius, Temperance, Death card, Scorpio, right, if the card shows up, overarching energy of the whole reading, please, uh, then to, to, there's a lot of, t okay, so if the card shows up that's you, let me finish the thought, you're on the right track. And here we are on the right track. So on the right track can mean um, you're going to need to break a few eggs to make this cake. You know what I'm saying? You're going to need to break a few eggs because you have been doing all the damn work. You know you have. We're sitting here every single day doing videos. I see you talking about this twin flame journey. I see you ruminating about it and what's going on and why is this happening and what is happening. What's happening is you're getting stronger. And the being in the low vibration part of this game, and it's a game, it's a game. I mean, it's a game if you're in low vibration, it's a game. If you're in high vibration, it's a learning process, right? Because in high vibration, there is no game. There is no, um, you're aligned with God, right? God doesn't play games. That's not, that's not what God's about, right? Too busy. If you're in low vibration, there's a lot of games, there's a lot of ego, there's a lot of all this kind of stuff that happens during, during, the, during the connection. The runner chaser stuff, the reflect, the, um, the stuff where you're reflecting back your own BS on the other person, and all of those things happen because you're, con you're not conscious enough, right? And I feel like this is, you're gonna, you are in such good shape here. You're in really good shape kind of blow the lid off of this. All right, Tower, Five of Cups, Four of Swords. So what's happening here, Ten of Wands, King of Wands, Empress. That's pretty good, all right? What that says to me is no more doing all the work, um, being in high vibration of passion, being in high vibration of love, putting down this Ten of Wands, no more doing the work. Right onto the onto the new journey, it could kind of blow a hole in the divine masculine here. Tower five of cups, he could feel like he lost you, um, but you know what? Healing, and all that really means is you're just leveling up. You're in high vibration here, and they're gonna choose for a minute to be like, oh, woe is me. Oh, I feel sorry for me. There's going to be like this tower moment of like, oh my God, I think I might have lost her. Good. Because they have. If they haven't done the work to level up like you have, right? You're doing all the work here. They will feel this energy of loss. And then they're going to need to heal themselves, in which case they will level up. Okay? And... The two of pentacles here is there, you can't stay in that anymore. And this is not really for you. Well, it is. Okay, let's just say it this way. So for Empress, Empress has decided to be in high vibration. And that means putting down those ten of wands, going on this new journey. The divine masculine, it's, it's literally like the only thing that's making them move forward is you leaving them. You moving on. It's not like a, it's not like a, F off, slam the door. It's not like that. It's like you're in high vibration, so it doesn't matter anymore. You know when something has ceased to be a game, when it doesn't matter anymore. And you're like, well, this is where I am. This is what I want, right? I want this high vibration, really empowered, kind of open, healthy kind of love. I'm really aligning myself with that. And if the Divine Masculine can't follow you right this minute, they're going to have this tower moment. It's like, oh my God, she's leaving me. Good. Because the only thing, it's, it's like the Divine Masculine at this stage of the game, some Divine Masculines are progressed. You know who you are. The ones who have like come out of the hermit mode and actually did some constructive talking. or what. This is for the Divine Masculine who is really dug in his heels and wants you to come down into some kind of runner chaser, some kind of unhealthy game. And you're like, I'm King of Wands Empress. Sorry. It's like you don't have that gear on your bike anymore. You can't go backwards. You can't.
can't go backwards. Ti the timeline here is collapsing on them. And they're staying in this backward place of, I can't stay here anymore. Two of coins, wheel of fortune, sun, ten of cups. So <laughs> they're going to have this tower collapse on them. It's whatever this tower is. Hold on. This tower is like, the tower is that pope. It's like whatever rigid ideas they've had. Hanged man, very good. Hanged man, three of pentacles, eight of pentacles. Whatever rigid ideas that they have been fostering, for the reason that they're stuck. Whatever they've been telling themselves about like, well, she needs to come to me. Or, well, this is how it works in this relationship. You know, I am the king of the fathers, right? Like there's this, they're not putting enough feminine in their mix. You are balanced, Empress, King of Wands. You're balancing your masculine feminine. And because you're in higher vibration, that means you're leading. That causes some of the divine masculines, the ones who are in here, to have like an ego death. Because you're no longer buying their bullshit. And I say that in the kindest way possible. It's not, they don't really, you know, just to help you understand here, they don't really understand that consciously. And that's what they need to do, is they need to understand consciously why this old paradigm is not working anymore. This old paradigm of the masculine, the, this is the Pope, Five of Cups here, um, being disappointed and thinking they've lost and all kinds of stuff. And it's interesting in this deck that, that, that it's the Pope because the Pope is like, I am the hierarchical leader, very masculine structure hierarchy, right? Feminine, um, structure is more flat. We collaborate more, right? We collaborate. And masculine is more like, I'm telling you what to do. And I, no, no shame in that game. Like, this is what we've been doing for hundreds of years, thousands of years. Just saying, right? The hierarchical thing is inherently a masculine structure. Not a value judgment, it just is. So what's happening here is that's breaking down. Because the I like that the Empress is here and this that the deck is choosing to use the King of Wands here is great because there's passion here, there's leadership here, there is creativity, a lot of feminine, as opposed to the King of Cups, the feminine nature of the cup sort of um, erodes the masculine nature of that card. In the King of Wands, Wands, very masculine, right? But creativity and joy, all, all the stuff that's about the King of Wands is a lot of feminine stuff. So there, that feels more balanced to me. I feel like the King of Wands is the most masculine, feminine, balanced card of the Kings. Right? Of the Kings. And so we get the Hanged Man here. They're getting enlightened. Both of these cards are enlightenment. Tower and Hanged Man about working together, three of pentacles, eight of pentacles, about working together in a more flat kind of way, not a I say and then you do, because you're, cho you're opting out of that, putting down that ten of wands, you're opting out of that structure. I'm no longer, I'm no longer interested in that. We are flow together. You lead sometimes, I lead sometimes. It's a very even balance. There's not a lot of ego, right? It's egoless. And that's what the divine masculine is learning here. And the universe is pushing this forward. Okay. Wheel, sun, ten of cups. The universe is pushing this forward. Um, get one card here. Okay. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> what may, my question was, I don't know if these are going to come up upside down now, but whatever happens, happens, right? Um, what made the tower happen is you, Page of Pentacles, understanding your value and your worth. And you're no longer in that low vibration, right? No longer in this Two of Pentacles, what do I do, what do I do, what do I do? You have raised your vibration by putting down, doing all the work. No longer doing that. All right, so let's see here. Um, what are the blocks here? You've really done your work here completed your assignments. Good 
girl. Good man. Seven of Cups death. Um, it's no longer a situation where you don't know what you're doing. You know what you want. You've had this ego death. Um, the, the Divine Masculine has blocked this ego death up until now. And the Divine Feminine has chosen what she wants. That, that very high vibration. I only want the twin template. I only want this kind of egoless relationship. That's all I want. I don't want these games. I don't want this back and forth. I'm not interested anymore. And I'm not doing the work to support it. Zero. All right, actions to take here. Ace of Swords, Four of Cups. Um, tell the truth. Standing in your truth and not accepting Four of Cups here. I feel like this is a positive card here. Standing in your truth, Divine Feminine, and not accepting anything less. Just absolutely not accepting anything less than this ego, egoless bond that you have. You're the one that's leading here, and this the Divine Masculine is kind of... Uh, they know it's right somewhere in their heart, somewhere in their soul. They know it's the egoless bond, high vibration is correct. But because the masculine wants to lead always and wants to be in this masculine paradigm of, you know, sort of old structures and I say what goes and all those things, they're going to have to have an ego death in order to follow you. Because then, sometimes they'll lead, sometimes you'll lead, right? It'll be egoless. All right, let's talk to this this um, Hanged Man Tower Five of Cups, Divine Masculine. Messages for the Divine Feminine here. Five of Pentacles. Yes, they do feel out in the cold. Yep. They feel it. You're not talking to them. If you think... If they're giving you the silent treatment and you're like fine with it, you drop the, you drop the give a shit about it. They know that game's no longer working. If you're no longer like, oh, what's going on? What's, what's, you know, they know that you've dropped that. They know that you are raising your vibration. And yet still they're very slow. Knight of coins, king of coins upside down. Remember I just said that. I don't do reversals. And you know why? Because every card has a positive and negative. It's all about context. Okay? But if something happened like that, when you're doing it, when you're throwing it up spread and some stuff comes out and you don't know if it's upside down or not, just put it back in the deck. If it comes out, that's important. Okay? So King of Pentacles here, they could be having a financial problem. Okay? Now I'm seeing, you get it? See the context now? King of Coins... And five of coins, nine of coins, they're going slow because they're having financial reversals. They're wanting to dig in their heels about this and not talk to you. It's not just about you. It's not just about this connection. They're actually having some financial problems. And so they're digging in. Wow, three of pentacles, eight of pentacles. They're like putting in all of their... It's like um, this was when I was in college. A friend of mine's father, grandfather ran some big investment firm and somebody, you know, embezzled millions of dollars. And so he spent two years of his life putting back the, all that money and never told a soul until after it was done. Didn't press charges, nothing. That's what this is. It's like putting back, it's like getting themselves right financially. They're having a problem with money. Magician. They're not really talking about it. They think they can do it all on their own. They are very, um, there's, there's all, like what I just said to you, that story I just said to you, it's almost like a lying by omission. They're not telling you. That's why they're keeping you in the cold. Ace of Wands. So they're getting inspiration about what to do. They're very focused on their own thing. So as another layer of this, when we talk about the ego death and following you and, and the too much masculine, their masculine is engaged because they're having financial problems and they need to have in this 3D world, right? They need to engage their masculine to get that back. So when the Ju when Jupiter, Wheel of Fortune comes around, it's going to be good. 
right? They're, it's going to be okay. They're going to be okay. I don't know that they know that right now, but I feel like they they have all the tools, and it's like they're the confidence will come back to them. I don't know why they lost their money or why something happened. Something happened. Okay, maybe they made a, a, a foolish investment. Fool here. And they're healing from it, trying to deal with it. And so they have all the tools and skills, and now they're going to know it. They're going to know it. So a lot of the masculine behavior of you must follow me comes from insecurity. Like if you're not following them, you know, the, the anger about that, it comes from insecurity. And when the ego death happens, because this is like tremendously humbling, all right, when they've done something, they've made a mistake or something happened, they are now healing that. They're feeling inspired again by their work. Let's see how this unfolds here. Some people could have gotten fired. Some divine masses could have gotten fired. Chariot, no going forward right now. Boy, these cards that came out upside down really are coming out upside down. No moving forward. King of Swords. So even though the Jupiter, okay, so the Wheel of Fortune is happening, the Sun and Ten of Cups, there is going to be reconciliation here. They're going to tell you that they clear-eyed, King of Swords. They want to make plans for the future, but they can't move right now. They can't move right now. You're clear-eyed. Hermit, going to get another hermit round here, trying to figure out their own mess, Virgo energy, under the king of pentacles there, not telling the, well, telling the truth and then trying to figure it out, queen of, queen of pentacles, um, for some of you, hermit energy, king of, a knight, uh, sorry, ace of swords, king of pentacles, upside down, reversed. Hermit, King of Swords here. If they tell you the truth about what happened to them, they are looking for your nurturing behavior. Queen of Pentacles here. Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. They are looking for that nurturing behavior. And they're looking for you also to be clear-eyed. So to be, this is all very clear, right? Ace of Swords. If they tell you the truth, if they come forward, because a magician, I normally don't like a magician in terms of telling the truth, but we got the Ace of Swords here, Ace of Wands. So two ways this person can go. This person can try and connect with you on a sexual level, and that might feel weird to you, but you might, you know, it might make you happy, but it won't move it forward, okay? What's going to move it forward is if they tell the truth about a situation, a financial reversal that they've had. This is why I haven't been talking. This is why we haven't, I've been, you know, healing this tower energy blew up my business or blew up, I got fired, whatever. And if they tell you the truth and it's very, you'll know, it's very um, humbling. It's not like, well, I haven't been talking to you because I've been so busy um, being, you know, incredible king of the forest here. Mm -mm. If they tell you the truth in a very humble way, then that's when you'll know, you know, I've been trying, I've been kind of being king of the forest here because I really fucked up. I made a mistake here or I got fired or something happened. Somebody stole money from me or something went south. A couple of clients left or something like that happened. So I really had to focus on what I was doing. And Hermit here is really, I like Hermit, Hanged Man here, because what happens here, Hanged Man and Hermit are aware, right? They're um, conscious, they become awake. It, it's like, this is such a humbling thing that happened. It, it's the combination of you sort of leading, being in your high vibration, and them being, having this problem, whatever this problem is, Page of Cups, the Moon, Three of Wands. So there's going to be a, um, 
they're going to apologize. If they are if they are in this humble energy, I like it. If they're in this humble energy of telling the truth, they're going to there's going to be an apology. That's how you're going to know. There's going to be some kind of apology and they're going to tell you the truth moon in reverse. Three of wands. They're going to know they brought it on themselves. And they're not going to try to hide it from you. This is a real awakening. This is what the Lion's Gate did for them. A real awakening. Leo energy here. Whatever this is that went south on them. If they tell you the truth and there's sort of an apology or there's sort of like a get a sense of a real new level of awareness um, I brought this on myself this happened I wasn't paying attention or I messed up or something along those lines strength Leo this has happened to them in the last couple weeks during Lionsgate they needed this ego death Absolutely. Wow. They needed this ego death. Um, it depends on your guy or on your divine masculine, what they consider an ego death. Okay. So some of them, it might, this is about money, but it's also about stability. Something threw their stability off, right? Tower, something threw it off completely. And they come to realize magician that they have, they have all the tools anyway. It's, it is like Dorothy, right? She, she gets thrown into this weird land of Oz, and she tries to go to this man, this Wizard of Oz, to get her back home. And they say to her, you've had the power all along. And that's when she realizes, like, it's not from these outside things. It's not from the trappings of how successful I am or whatever. And when they finally realize that, it gives them new inspiration. Ace of Wands gives them new inspiration. And if they tell you the truth, they're going to, this is a very important conversation. Healing family issues. Boy, this is an ego death, what we're watching here. If they're, yes, 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 yes. Healing family issues. Codependency. What's this one here? Getting to know each other. This is the heart-to-heart -heart conversation, a retreat, okay? Getting to know each other retreat. Healing family issues and codependency. They are going to have been laid low. They're, if, they're in a, if they're in a relationship and you have walked away, because I'm not interested in third party, I'm not interested in this anymore, just you go no talkie on them. You just go silent. And like their, their wife or their husband has cheated on them or something that blows up their, what they their structure, their ideas of what they think is solid. Something has blown that up. And it's leading them to understand healing family issues and codependency. These things that have created their ego, they really got laid low. This is a particular divine masculine stripe that was not budging, would not talk, was not moving, continued to play low vibration games, continue to want you to be in an affair, continue to want you to be in low vibration. And you have moved on from that because you know you've healed the codependency thing. And oh, wow. And so now, <laughs> I love this. So now they have to heal the codependency thing since you have done that. And that's what is getting blown up here for them. That's what's happening here. They're seeing the narcissist codependency thing, the, whatever it is, the unhealthy connection in their life. They're seeing what it is, and it's getting blown up on them, so they have to deal with it. It's not like something that's, oh, well, yeah, this is an unhealthy relationship, blah, blah, blah. Something happened here. I feel like it's around money because there's so much pentacles here, and king of pentacles is upside down. Cancerian energy is also upside down. So if there's a water sign, like they're married to a water sign, or they're, they have water in their chart, they've been shoving down their feelings, it all gets blown up on them. Retreat, getting to know each other. So it's likely that 
you, they come back to you and you say, I'm not dealing with any of this low vibration bullshit. I don't care what you say to me. And they say, look, this is what happened. This is why I haven't reached out to you in a while. This is what's been going on. And you're like, oh my God. You need to trust your own self, is it? You need to trust your knowing about them. And is this a true... If they apologize, I, that would be my yardstick. Uh, if, there's a nar if there's covert narcissism going on here, unhealthy behaviors in relationships, whatever that might be, if there's an awareness enough for them to apologize, that'd be my, that'd be my, my white flag. Not my red flag. That'd be my white flag. Like, oh, good, self-awareness, right? Retreat, getting to know each other. I feel like this is the catalyst of them coming back and getting to know each other again and then having some awareness around healing family issues, healing their own BS, their own um, energy, or their own low vibration game. They're getting laid low here. This is not for every divine masculine. It's the ones that have stuck to these low vibration things. The universe is like, ping, you're done now. The universe is not tolerating any of that bullshit. Nope. They brought this on themselves. Get ready, empresses. Let's see what happens. All right, my loves, I will talk to you tomorrow, August, August 11th, <laughs> the end of Lionsgate. How about that? All right, see you tomorrow.